Welcome to a video from the Digital Lifestyle.com. In this video, we're going to have a quick look at some of the third party apps available for the Microsoft Bands. The Bands have been out for a few months now and they're still in short supply, but uh, developers have started to come up with some new apps for it since the SDK was released. So, in this video, I'm going to look at a few that I've got installed here on my Lumia 1520 and, uh, and give you some more information on where you can find these apps and the SDK as well. So, we're going to start off with one of my favourite ones, which is called Pimp My Band. Um, Pimp My Band, the idea behind this is it allows you to customise the colour scheme and uh, your backdrop. And a few apps do different, similar things to this, but this one is quite a nice uh, version of it. So, you can see I've got the purple on there, the purple blue with the red um, options on there. So, let me just change that. So, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm actually going to choose a picture. So from the app I've selected a picture and um, it gets it to the right size as well because the uh, I think it's 320 by 60 but the app takes care of that. So and then it actually guesses the colours so using uh, dominant it will guess the colours to suit the background so that's the kind of colour we would see because it suits that background but you can just override that and do a custom colour um, and I can choose a bright red icon send that down to the band and you see it says syncing on there so now you can see that's the image on there and the custom colour tiles that I've sent it's, it's hard to tell probably on the camera but there's a subtle difference between the ones with numbers and without there, ones with notifications, ones without there's a slight difference on that and we can actually customise that with another app in a moment so that's Pimp My Band, a really very handy little app. It's uh, 99 cents in the oh, Windows Phone store. Now going for something totally different, we can have a look at this one here called Band Sensor Monitor. This is um, a tool that allows you to view the sensors of the band real time. You notice the, the light came on there. So, um, now we're not going to get anything at this at the moment, so let me put the band on. So the band is on now. So there you can see uh, the heart rate it hasn't acquired yet. So when you first put the band on it takes a few moments for it to catch up. There we go, it's got that. It shows you your skin temperature and um, the galvanic skin response. So that's like, um, it, it's a way of measuring your stress levels through sort of moisture on your, on your skin. Ambient light, you see the looks in here turn and point at the light, you can see that go up. We've also got here the uh, movement counter which shows you the amount of movement we've done. If I shake that you'll see it go up but the steps don't change and we've got the uh, battery indicator and the battery indicator uh, shows you in percentage so if you look on the band now it would probably say 90% or 80% even uh, when you put it on charge it usually says it in 20% increments. So. That's showing you a bit more detail. And here we can adjust to in Celsius or Fahrenheit. And um, I've got the ultraviolet sensor switched off at the moment, but I could enable that. So that's band sensor monitor. It does drain your battery while using this because it's activated all the sensors because I've switched them on. I mean, you could switch some of them off, but as soon as you back out of the app, it then uh, turns off the link with the with the band saving and sort of saving your battery. So that's band sensor monitor, and that is uh, about one pound twenty nine from the Windows Store, depending on which store, US or UK store. Now a couple of other interesting ones we've got on here. Uh, this is a new one that I quite like. Center band, and that one uh, is really simple, really. When you uh, install it, it asks you if you want to add a tile to your band, which I do. And then I can say... I can send some text there. Like that. Send that. That's just buzzed and arrived on the band. Now what's interesting about that, you can... So if I go and slide across you'll see the tile is there and I can read that and you can use the reading button 
uh, as, you, as you'd expect. It also works with Cortana as well, so you can do centre band and then you can say your text. It doesn't work if you've got the UK region set on, which I have at the moment, uh, so I can't really show you that. But if you have, you can just use Cortana, so you can do Hey Cortana and, and send it to the band, which is a very handy function. Very handy if you've got something, maybe it's like a pin code, you go into a doorway and you don't want to get your phone out to check it, or you've got a street address or you're walking down the street, you can send it to the band and then get that from the band. That's 79p from the Windows Phone Store. Now you saw those notifications, well, if you wanted to clear all those in one go, well, very simple. This one is um, clear my band, clear that, and that goes through the band, and that's cleared off all the notifications. So reset everything back to zero. What else have we got on here? Oh, another quick, easy one. Find my band. So that's a really simple one. If the band, your band is in your in your house somewhere, and but you can't actually locate it at the moment, you can use this, and you can see it's vibrating the band and flashing the light. So it's the equivalent of kind of ringing your phone to find where you left it. A very very simple app, and uh, that's a free one from the Windows Phone Store. Band Social is one that's currently in development, but uh, you can start playing with it. Band Social, the idea behind that is you can create a theme for your band with the colours and backdrops and things like that, and then you can save it to the band, but also share it to other people. This allows you to, a quite a good degree of control over the colours on the band. So you can say the base colour, I can chat to change that colour and I can set a different colour for the highlights and a different colour for the lowlights and the background text and everything else and then I can then send that down to the band and I can share this, now currently it doesn't do anything but shares it to, to the cloud but to, the future versions are going to be able to show you can share them and then you can have um, you can view other shared ones as well so you've got that sort of combination be able to pull other people's designs in so if I look on here now my picture's still in there um, I haven't got any tiles with a, with a number on at the moment. If they have, they would be blue because that's what we set the active tile to be. It's called high contrast on here. Another new one I found is called Me Tiles. Um, this one enables you to pick from um, a, con a changing list of images designed by the developer to suit the band. Now they keep the developer says these will change, so you can pick a, a image. So say pick that one. Send that down to the band. So syncing, and that will just change the the backdrop on there. And there it goes. Now for developers, you have got the option of the software development kit, and actually the the, the uh, demo one is quite a good one. Uh, if you wanted to have a look, so you can connect to the band, and with this app, you can. Uh, change all your images so you can see what the image is, I can clear the image, I can uh, send a sample image down and so on. So you, you can really choose what you what, uh, what you do. It's a very good example really, I mean that's what it is, it's a sample app. So, But you can also use it to uh, adjust the tiles, add text to the tiles, you can view the sensors on it, um, so you could view the Accelerometer, you can see the, as it changes on there, and um, so a nice little app actually. I mean, it's it's it's, a, it's designed as a um, as a sample, but you get the source code for it with the SDK as well. You now I showed you those colours before. There you go. You can see there that that uh, one with a, an active number on. So that app we pick the individual colours, and you can see as you tap in them, it shows the active one as well. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to change mine to a nice blue colour, get it to match, save that and that's using the pin my band. The final app I'm going to show you is actually for the windows and this is uh, on my surface here so as well as having the Microsoft uh, band sync app which you can download there's this uh, third party one called unband which has a number of interesting features on it so on this one you can change the colours like I show you on one of the other ones but here we can do it from the PC but most interesting is uh, you can 
dig around the uh, the tile order but my favorite actual feature is um, it's exporting the data so this is just syncing syncing now so what this will do it allows me to export the run data the sleep data the bike data and save uh, anything with GPS on it as a GPX file which you can then import to another program so with this you can import it into Google Maps or any other uh, uh, fitness apps or whatever you want to be able to uh, look at the data so it's really simple you can just export this the data straight out and then it's a CSV file and you can open it in Excel so very handy app if you're interested in sort of tracking your data and uh, I've used this to, to sort of track sleep patterns and things like that so well worth looking at that's another free app and uh, the URL for that one is here unbanned.natchmore.com so um, I'll include a link for that with the video so it's unbanned.nachmore.com and that's a nice free app. So that was my guide to some of the uh, really good third party apps available for the Microsoft Band. If you go to the digitallifestyle.com we've got um, a Microsoft Band link there and uh, I've got a link to all these apps that we've been talking about and uh, we've got a special Microsoft Band so, uh, tag as well for the site so you can see all the stuff on there. So thanks for watching this video, check out the for more videos and more stuff for the Microsoft Band.